Hey there, I am back with one more chapter of your demand that is handwritten notes of improvement in food resources. In this video, we will be covering plant section and you can take screenshots or use a PDF provided in the description box. Now let's move on. So this is improvement in food resources. As we know that all organisms require food for survival and this food contains chemical compounds like this. We can't increase area, so it is necessary to increase the crop yield by these revolutions like green, white and blue revolution. Crops Crops are the single type of plant produced on a large scale and these crops are divided into Rabi and Kharif. The differences are given here. You can pause the video to check it. Page number 2 Here we discuss about the another type of crops that is food and fodder. Fodder deals with the food for the livestock and food crops are for us. Now the thing is that we can't increase area but how can we increase the yields of crops? So this we can do by three methods that is crop variety improvement, crop production improvement and crop protection management. Now page number third, crop variety improvement which is the first method. In this we can know more about hybridization. Hybridization is nothing but crossing between genetically dissimilar plants. It can either be intervarietal, interspecific or intergeneric. Now useful characteristics for breeding. Those characteristics are disease resistance, response to fertilizers, product quality and high yield. Guess what's next for you? Yeah, it's a mind map that is for crop variety improvement. In this, we have various sections like higher yield, improved quality, biotic and abiotic resistance, change in maturity duration, wider adaptability, as well as desirable agronomic traits. You can get the details by pausing the video. The second method is crop production management. In this, there are also various steps like nutrient management, irrigation and cropping pattern. Nutrient management. There are basically 16 nutrients that is need to be provided and those are divided as micro and macronutrients. Micro needs less quantity and macro needs more quantity. Now for replenishment of minerals, we need manures and fertilizers. Manures are of three types, compost, vermicompost and green manure. Also the disadvantage and advantage of manure are discussed here. You can pause the video again and check it. The second one is fertilizers. So fertilizers are commercially produced plant nutrients. Its advantage and disadvantages are mentioned here. The next thing is biomagnification and eutrophication. In eutrophication, microbes eat those algae which have taken already the fertilizers that are harmful chemicals and this causes the decrease in oxygen level and also this causes danger to the aquatic life. Next is biomagnification in which fertilizer is taken by algae, algae is taken by fishes and fishes we eat. And that's the transfer of toxic substance from one body to another via food chain. And this is termed as biomagnification. And here's another mind map for you. This is about irrigation in which we are dealing with different types of systems like wells, then dug wells and tube wells, canals, tanks river lift system, rainwater harvesting, sprinkler system as well as drip irrigation. Now the third part is cropping pattern in which we have mixed cropping, intercropping, crop rotation as well as organic farming. Here are the definition of it as well as there is the advantage. You can check it. Now this is the picture that is given below. Like first is mixed cropping and second is intercropping. The difference is that in mixed cropping seeds are just mixed and then scattered. Due to this what happens that they can be together like for this means there is not any specific pattern. In another case in intercropping there is pattern like one row will be of crop A, another row will be of crop B like this. And in third crop rotation, crops are rotated like growing different crops on the land in pre-planned succession. And then comes the fourth one, organic farming which is completely natural as well as eco-friendly. Now this is crop protection management in which we will get to know how insects affect the crop so they cut the root stem and leaf also they suck the cell sap from the plant's part they bore into the stems and fruits 
but the question is how we can protect the plants from them so we can use insecticides and pesticides insecticides is for insects and pesticides is for pests now weeds weeds are the undesirable and unwanted plants that grows with the crops and it can be removed by two methods manually or chemically by manually it can be removed by agricultural tools and by chemically it can be moved by using weedicides now the last step storage proper treatment and by systematic management of warehouse keeping crops collected is called storage simply we can say keeping crops collected is called storage okay now the steps involved in this they are mentioned here you can check it that was all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next part